the range of drugs available on the global market has never been so large. In addition to traditional plant-based drugs, the supply of synthetic drugs has been rapidly growing. Production of synthetic drugs is cheap. It can take place anywhere. It is not dependent on the availability of arable land. Supply chains are shorter and profits can be extremely high. Criminals continue to innovate with the introduction on the global market every year of new psychoactive substances in order to circumvent international and national controls. On the demand side, the non-medical use of drugs has become extremely complex. Polydrug use has become the norm in many user groups. Substances are also substituted with each other as a function of market dynamics and drug availability. And adulteration practices have led users to be exposed to unknown risks, in some cases leading to fatal overdoses. The opioid crisis in North America, the crisis related to fentanyl, has killed nearly 100,000 people in 2021. And in some parts of Africa and Asia, the other opioid crisis, the crisis linked to the non-medical use of tramadol, has led to a large number of people seeking treatment for tramadol use disorders with substantial increases in recent years in some countries. The cocaine market has been experiencing a prolonged surge with all indicators of supply pointing to record highs and demand for the drug is rising over time despite a temporary halt during the COVID pandemic. On the opiates front, the impact of the recent drastic reduction in opium production in Afghanistan will need surely to be closely monitored. If sustained over time, it could be felt harshly in destination regions beyond Southwest Asia, leading to major market disruptions, increases in the number of people seeking treatment, and a potential switch to other more harmful patterns of use and more harmful drugs, for example, to the non-medical use of synthetic opioids.